about life in Korea and it's been a while since I made a vlog so today I thought I would share with you um, today's event <laughs> not really event but so today we came to Gyeongju uh, this is my first real-time visiting Gyeongju. I've only driven through it before and right now we um, are at a restaurant called Gosong Gosong Kalbi and it's a really nice interior. I can't wait to try it. Uh, it's extremely hot today, 37 degrees and we are sweating a lot and um, the plan is we're gonna eat lunch and then go to an art museum um, probably visit a cafe after that and I'll show you a little bit of Gyeongju. This is like a egg drop soup and it has sesame seeds in there. Not many, but it has a sesame flavor and salty egg taste and a nice texture too. That looks amazing. It's steaming. So we both got a bowl of rice and then um, look at that rib. That's huge. So I guess we share these. I don't know if that is. That looks pretty nice on the side too. That looks like that's a fried mandu. And then you can mix these things with that or wrap the meat in there. I usually don't care for the, um, these leaves, they're a little strong for me. So they give you a scissors and a tong to, to hold the bone and then you cut the meat off. But we're struggling slightly. Um, this one's a little bit tougher, maybe the other ones will be easier. the um, the mandu pea which was really good it kind of tasted like um, like a breaded croissant almost and you have that with the meat and it's really good that way this meat's pretty tasty um, it's one of my favorite flavors but I don't think it's as tender as I would like it to be some of them were really hard to cut off the bone but um, the taste itself is good mm. It tastes pretty good. extremely hot but uh, we're on our way to the car we're about to pick up an umbrella 
I think we need it today is 37, which is super hot. This town is really pretty. I love how it all looks so traditional, but these buildings are, most of them are actually brand new. I'm sure not all of them are, but um, even the brand new ones, you can't tell which ones are new. But you kind of can, but um, they all look the same. Even the GS25 has a traditional look, which is pretty cool. super hot if you wanted to sit outside they're in their break time road foot massage oh there's a zero waste shop here wow it's like down an alley and around the corner and this place looks really cool too pancake wow that looks really cool I'm gonna go into the zero waste shop we came down this little alley here and then found this uh, zero waste shop. So let's go in and have a look. I love these, how these places are just hidden here. Cruffle for a while. It's closed. I wasn't gonna go there right now. Korean dining bar. This seems closed, but it looks pretty cool. Wow, so this is like another section here. There's a car on top of the roof there. It smells like garlic everywhere, like cooked garlic in a good way. That's like the um, third or fourth chiffon bread that I've seen. Wow, it's so hot. I like this street, I like all these um, places, they look so fun. bigger than I thought. I 
everyone. So we came to a coffee shop to get out of the heat, and this one's a famous one. I think it's called The Coffee Place. Uh, it was full when we got here, but luckily a table left right away, and I was able to grab it. There's only uh, three tables here, and then there's also a bar. Um, so I felt pretty happy to get this one and the coffee is really good it's actually not that expensive here and the view is really pretty right outside uh, and it's nice and cool most importantly we did decide to come here um, it's 37 it's like the hottest day of the year so far uh, there's like a heat wave warming heat wave warning going on right now so um, yeah it's a good place to cool off and the coffee's good so, so far, I'll give you some of my thoughts about what I think about Gyeongju for my first time. Um, there's two things that really stand out. The first thing is that it's super pretty. I feel like uh, a real tourist here. I love that all the buildings look traditional, whether they're new or old, you can't even tell. I mean, you can tell they're new, but they keep the same traditional style, which is really awesome. There's so many places that I wish I could go to, but I think I definitely have to come back. I'm happy that I only live 30 minutes away so I can come here more often. I can't believe I didn't come here until now, uh, but I'll definitely be back. I want to do more things. I want to go to more restaurants and see more things. Um, so that's the first thing is I was kind of blown away. And then the other thing that stands out is the, the nature. Like the green everywhere is really pretty. The parks seem huge. Um, the third thing is those tombs, those large green mounds that you'd probably see in other people's photos or videos and on Instagram. They are actually much bigger in real life than you could imagine. So I was kind of surprised by that. And then I was also surprised by how many there are. Like I thought there might have been just a couple like famous photo zone or something where people are lined up waiting to take a picture with those. But actually those things are all over. So I was kind of surprised that there's so many tombs and they're all so huge and pretty. The grass is like really green and it's just an unusual shape to see. Um, and they're just so big. That's the other thing. So those are just some of my initial thoughts um, having been here for just a couple hours. I really like these um, giant mounds in this park and I could definitely spend a lot of time walking around these parks. I think that's definitely a highlight of Gyeongju and even though it's hot, the shade from the trees is refreshing and there's a good breeze coming in right now so that's, that's good anyway. What are those, Mamie? Mamie? No, that's an ant, isn't it? Oh, ant is gamey. These ones are Mamie. Cicada. The Mamies are really happy. They're all singing today. Not many people here, actually. It seems like most people are in the, the shopping area or the restaurant area, the more traditional looking place. I think it's too hot today, so not a lot of people in the actual park. I really like how wide it is here, so you can like walk comfortably without worrying about cars. On the main street there's like a lot of traffic and not much parking. The parking is pretty expensive. Uh, I think it's like 2,500 won per hour or something like that, or 30,000 won for the whole day. Um, but it's a good spot, it's right in the middle, so we're probably going to end up paying for that.
store. Sense ash will look like snow on the mountain. That'd be really fun, but it seems kind of hard to clean. I'm actually kind of a sucker for incense holders. I love these because I burn a lot of incense quite frequently. Love this one. It hangs the incense upside down and then you uh, catch it at the bottom, I guess. guest house. Looks pretty awesome. We decided not to go to the museum. We're gonna head home. We're melting our bodies. It's too hot. We'll come again another time. We ended up getting uh, Americano and a vanilla, vanilla latte from GS25. So now we're gonna head home and hopefully the parking fee is not too much. Before we head home, we stopped at this uh, bread shop. Apparently it's pretty famous takeout only and I think it's like 25,000 won which seems a bit expensive to me, but we're gonna go in and see how good it really is. Oh, they just have bags ready. It's takeout only. Look at all these bags, and they're probably gonna sell like all of them. <laughs> 